Hi everyone, welcome back to Mathematics Specialist channel. This time we're going to discuss a little bit about foundation studies. Most of the students who were willing to go and studying abroad probably will take a shortcut by taking foundation studies in Indonesia for about one year time. And then after they accomplish their foundation studies, they, they can continue to study abroad. Now the question is, how can they deal with the foundation studies if some of them only finish grade 10, 11, or 12? So this time we will try to have a look two videos provided by my former students who already accomplished their study in UNSW Foundation Studies or UFS. Now, since 2020, uh, we do have the new curriculum for the foundation studies. So most of the students need to adjust the way how they learn in the foundation studies with their new curriculum. Therefore, um, let's try to have a look at the following videos. So hopefully it will be beneficial for you in order to think how to deal with the foundation studies. Hi everyone, hope you're all healthy and you're all having a great day. Um, but for those of you who don't know me, my name is Edward Wong and by Mr. Wendy's request, today I'll be sharing a couple of my experiences at, uh, during my time at UD Prep with all of you guys. So yeah, hopefully what I uh, say and uh, share with you guys in the next couple of minutes will prove to be beneficial and hopefully it'll help you guys uh, during your entire one year at UD Prep. But yeah, um, just to share a little bit about myself, uh, especially specifically my time at Uni Prep. Um, I think if I'm not wrong, I started Uni Prep around September of last year, it's 2020. I was part of the September 2020 intake at the Pono Indo campus, uh, and I recently graduated just a couple of months ago. Actually, uh, I think it was the beginning of August. So yeah, I'm still all my memories of Uni Prep are still pretty fresh. So yeah, hopefully, um, this will prove to be useful uh, for you guys. But just, to sh but just to start off uh, by sharing a couple of challenges that I personally experienced during my time at uni prep, I think the first and the most notable one would be um, starting off at a completely new school, new environment. Obviously, that will probably be super nerve-wracking for just about anyone, and I was no different. So just to give you guys a brief context, I was actually at my old school uh, for about 11 to 12 years. So I, I pretty much spent my entire years as elementary and as a secondary student there, and I haven't, and I didn't move at all. So basically, um, yeah, you can say that I was really uh, adapted, really adjusted to the way we do things at my old school. And when it came for me to move to uni prep, this is the first time I've actually moved school. Um, it was pretty nerve wracking to say the least, because new classmates, new teachers, and a completely new environment. It was just um, pretty confusing at first, and hopefully um, you guys can relate, and hopefully you guys have overcome it already, but for those of you who haven't, um, personally, the way that I overcame this is just uh, try to put yourself out there. Uh, during my time when I was, um, when I was personally dealing with this, uh, I thought to myself, uh, are these people going to judge me? Are they going to talk about me, like talk about me behind my back? Uh, maybe I was being a bit too paranoid, but um, I think settling into a new environment, especially a new school, uh, this might uh, this might be like quite common to think about. But just if you guys are thinking the same way that I am or was, just uh, remind yourself that everyone is probably all your classmates are probably the, are thinking the same thing, uh, the same way like you. They're probably uh, just as disoriented or just as confused as you because. Uni prep is a one-year program, so no way that they've been here before. So I'm pretty sure they're pretty um, nervous as well. But yeah, um, just try to put yourself out there. Just try to be friendly and engage in conversations with your peers, whether that may be your classmates, uh, the staff, or maybe your teachers as well. Just really try to engage in conversations, and I'm sure you guys will find things in common in no time. And yeah, this, this was the thing for me. Um, the first day or two was pretty nerve-wracking, but the more I talked to my, my classmates, my teachers, and even the admin staff, um, the more I felt a uh, part of the community, and I felt accepted, and it was just um, all the nervousness was basically for nothing. 
So hopefully you guys, if you guys are starting with an optimistic mindset, good for you guys, good, stay confident. But for those of you who might be the same as me, just hang in there. But if you have, if you guys have the chance and trust me, you will just try to put yourself out there and just be confident, just trust in your ability uh, to communicate with people. And I'm sure you guys will be fine. But yeah, I think this was the one of the most difficult um, challenges for me as well. But I think the other challenge that I like to share is academically speaking. So um, before uni prep, oh, I was at the I was in the commerce stream. Uh, by the way, at uni prep on Akinda, and so I'm in. So I study things that, like business or accounting and economics too on occasion. Uh, but yeah, before going to uni prep commerce uh, commerce stream. I actually studied uh, business studies and economics and accounting, all those similar subjects at school before during high school. So adapting wasn't really too much of a problem, but I'm sure you guys will encounter some subjects that you've never learned before uh, in high school. For me, this was business law. And for those commerce stream, uh, commerce students out there, you guys are gonna take that in your second semester. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys <laughs> never learned it before, neither have I, um, but yeah. You might think that these subjects were super intimidating, business law, because yeah, law is law. But um, yeah, if you guys might be struggling with this, I think um, I think this would be like a general tip for like all subjects as well. This is like a general reminder uh, for all for your entire time at uni prep. If you guys are like struggling anyhow, like in your academics, or you guys have like a particular subject that you're struggling with, uh, just try uh, your best to adjust and adapt to the situation around you. So what do I mean by that? So for me personally, what I did is just try to focus on the subjects that you think you need the most uh, uh, time and effort in improving in. So for me, for example, that was math. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not too great at math. It's ironic because I'm doing this for my math teacher. Um, but yeah, just try to, I'm sure, just try to self you guys a target. Uh, your just set just make sure to set a target and make sure you guys have a plan and i'm sure if you guys know where you want to go if there's like a particular grade that you want to achieve um put that in your sights and just try to find out what do i have to do in order to achieve this grade or uh, this or this particular goal and just make sure that you guys your guys's motivations are right and make sure i'm sure you guys have the resources to do it as well on the internet, I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of um, study methods and study schedules that you guys can use, or you can make your own uh, methods like Active Recall really helped me. If you guys don't know what that is, you can try to Google it. But um, I think the point is here is just really try to make the best of your time at uni prep, especially if you're aiming for high grades. Um, grades aren't everything, that's true, but um, I'm pretty sure <laughs> in order to get in UNSW or wherever you guys are, wanting to go, you guys have a certain minimal GPA that you guys have to reach. So just try your best. Um, don't push yourself too hard. But um, if you guys know, already know that you need extra help and when it comes like maybe like tuition or like additional lessons, maybe if you need to talk to your teacher more, just make sure you do it. Seize the opportunity and just make sure you guys don't regret it by the time you graduate. But yeah, I think uh, from me, that's pretty much it. But yeah. But really, guys, I trust you guys are in really safe hands with Mr. Wendy. Um, he's really one of the most intelligent, uh, knowledgeable, and effective teachers, not to mention friendly teachers that I've had during my entire time as a student. And he might seem a little bit strict at first. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen that by now. But trust me, um, this is just the way he is. And this is the way that he makes sure that you guys are studying. Uh, you guys are on the right track. You guys are studying effectively. And trust me, it, it really works out at the end. But just know that from my own personal experience in Mr. Wendy's class, if you guys need any help at all, and as long as you guys show that you're willing to learn and you guys are really willing to uh, work hard and do well in your studies, I'm pretty sure Mr. Wendy is more than happy to help you guys. And I'm pretty sure there are a lot of awesome other people in uh, on campus at Uni Prep as well that you guys can ask for help. But yeah, um, for math, just hang in there guys math might be a little bit tough maybe yeah that's what i think um but yeah i'm pretty sure like i said before if you guys have a target you want to reach and if you guys know where you want to go and you guys know how to do it i'm pretty sure you guys will be fine it's just a matter of uh maintaining uh your productive your productivity 
and associating and just like asking for help uh, at the right time. In this case, if you guys don't need, if you guys need help in math, I'm pretty sure Mr. Wendy can help you out. He's more than capable of doing so, but just make sure to reach out, be a uh, participative in class, and I'm sure everything will be all right. But yeah, I think that's all from me, guys. Uh, I wish, really wish you guys the best of luck during your entire year at uni prep. I'm sure you guys will do great. But uh, if you guys want to reach out, if you guys need, like, feel the need to reach out to either me or other alumni, like, videos that you've seen before, I'm pretty sure Mr. Wendy will uh, be, more, be more than glad to help you guys out. But yeah, you guys are really in safe hands, and I wish you the best of luck. And um, thank you again for the opportunity, Mr. Wendy. And hope you guys have an awesome year. All the best for your studies. See you guys. Okay, so hi guys. My name is Angelica Grace. Uh, you can call me Angel. Um, I was a lecturer student in the U Uni Prep campus in Bezde. Um, to be frank with you guys, I was really scared when I first entered this place because same as at work, I never changed school uh, since elementary and stuff. And I have always been in my comfort zone. And especially before I was taking a science stream, so I'm not really, I don't really know about accounting, economics, business. I never heard about all those things. All I ever known was physics, chemistry, and stuff like that. And of course, it must be nerve wracking. It must, you must have been thinking like, oh, I could not do this. This is not a fair start. Like someone else have studied it before, but it's okay. Like you really learn from the basics here. And if the teachers are still the same as mine, <laughs> And even though it's not the same, like they are all very, very supportive. I used to bother them a lot every night because I usually study at night. So I text them uh, asking so many questions and they always reply to me. They never complain about me asking at uh, very, very late at, late at night. So yeah, if you are worried about the teachers, maybe you've, you've met some uh, not quite good teachers during your high school or stuff, teachers you cannot explain well during your high school back then. Uh, well, you don't need to worry here. They are really, really good. They can explain really well. And if you still don't understand, you can always uh, add them or email them or anything. You can ask even for extra session. I did that before, before my exams. And uh, um, maybe I would like to give some tips uh, to like survive in uni prep because I myself uh, noticed that uni prep is uh, not an easy place to be in and uh, I cry more uh, more than I used to in high school which is I'm not proud of but it is what it is and um, the first thing uh, you really need to review every day maybe you must be thinking every day like what it must be really tiring. No, you don't need to spend like three hours, four hours, five hours. You don't need to do that. Just after every lecture, just read again because you need to refresh what you've actually have uh, here, what the teachers have explained. You need to refresh that. So for myself, after every lecture, uh, I take some rest around like 15 to 30 minutes and then I read through uh, the lectures again. And for especially for math, um, I try to reduce some of the questions again, and at late night, it is really important for you to do the tutorials. Like, um, I couldn't stress you enough, you really need to do the tutorials. I know you must be looking like, that book is really thick, like, no way I'm going to finish all of that. But you have one week, guys. You don't need to finish all of it in one day, just don't procrastinate. You can do it like five questions per day, 10 questions per day. You can do it. Like, I mean, I can do it. You guys can do it. And it's not impossible for you guys to finish the tutorials because believe me or not, it's really useful, especially when you face the exams. Um, the exams, the exams are hard. Not, I mean, of course, exams are hard. I mean, if it's easy, everyone could pass. But if you practice, I'm sure you can do it. Trust me, like you really need to do the tutorials. And if you have questions and stuff, please don't be embarrassed to ask in class. Like I always ask 
in a class like I just stopped the teacher. I was like, excuse me, sir, I don't understand. And they, they will like, oh yeah, yeah, and they will be really kind. They will be more than happy to repeat what they're, they're trying to say and stuff. And don't skip your classes, guys. Maybe you must be thinking, ah, oh, it's just another economics lecture. Ah, oh, it's just another tutorial. I could study it by myself. As much as you think you can study it by yourself, it's always best to have someone um, experience that explain it to you. And um, what, what should I say? Mm. Oh, for friends, maybe it must be felt awkward at first because it's online and it's hard to actually be close to one another. I felt that because I'm actually an introvert too. So I totally relate. But don't worry. I'm sure all of you are actually looking for friends and they are more than welcoming enough to be friends with, which, with each other. So just reach out to each other and talk <laughs> and be friends. And um, for Mr. Wendy itself, of course, please don't hesitate to ask to him about math and stuff because he has been answering me at 10 p.m., 11 p.m. Like, I know it's not healthy. We should have been asleep, but we are awake and we're discussing about math at that time. But he really answers me. He always answers me all of the time, which I'm really grateful of because honestly, without him, I don't think I can ace well <laughs> for my math exam. So yeah, you're really in a good hands for Mr. Wendy and all of other teachers as well, I guess. That's all that I can say. If you want to ask anything, you can always hit me up on my social media. I'm on my Instagram is like my name and another extra S in the behind. You can always hit me up there if you want to ask any more questions. Thank you, guys. Hi, my name is Audrey. I graduated uni prep last year and I'm currently attending Macquarie University studying medical science. So when I attended Uniprep, I didn't have Mr. Wendy until my second semester. And to be honest, it was a drastic change because he was way stricter and he gave way more work compared to my previous teacher. And I'm not the best, I'm not the, I wasn't the best of, in math. I made a lot of mistakes, especially in the my first semester. I didn't practice a lot and I didn't really pay attention in class. And because of that, my grade did suffer and it brought down my confidence and you do not want that. Luckily, I had Mr. Wendy as my second semester teacher. So when you entered the second semester, it's, it's kind of like a well, a bit of a well-known fact that your grade might decrease because of course it, it, it gets harder, especially in the math department. Um, I mean math section, uh, okay. And physics to be honest, but that's another problem. Don't worry, business students too. Uh, so the reason why I say, it's to tell myself that I'm lucky that I got Mr. Wendy is because when Mr. Wendy was my teacher, he was honest with me. He encouraged me and he helped me a lot during those times. And because of that, I was able to maintain a decent score from my math, which helped me to get into my university right now. What you should know about Mr. Wendy is that he works really hard to provide for his students. He, he wants the best, he wants to give you the best solution and to have the best outcome. And you shouldn't be take, and you should not take him for granted. And honestly, the only thing he, he asks for return is for you to listen to him. Take his advice if he tells you anything. Like for example, if he tells you to do 50 questions, you do 50 questions. No rush joke. Mr. Wendy understands if you're having trouble. He might seem scary at first uh, or sometimes all the time, but he's actually really nice. He's really nice. Uh, an example is when I think it was during the exams. 
near the exams period or before uh, I was I was like studying late at night and I had to, I had to ask and I was confused in this certain question and I it was like around really late at night it was like almost 12 maybe and then I sent him my question I was like sir I don't know how to do this why is it I'm not getting and he answered straight away so a fact about Mr. Wendy, he sleeps super late because he works really hard for his students up all night and for his family. So and, oh, if you ever get bored during his class, just ask him to tell you a cool story about his past. Those are really interesting. So what okay, what I want you guys to to be and stuff like that. I want you guys to listen to Mr. Wendy. Do your work. Honestly, it's worth it. It's worth it at the end because then when you get a good grade, you feel happy for yourself and it's almost like you can show it off. And at the end, and oh my gosh, don't remember. Math is a huge part of for your report. It's, it's I think it's the biggest one yet. So please fight the urge of being lazy or anything. Even yeah, I admit I'm still try. I still sometimes procrastinate, but I I am getting better because of because of every because of my past experience with Mr. Wendy. That is all I'm going to going to say. Good luck, batch twenty twenty two. Work hard. So you, so you get to play hard later. Thank you. Okay, guys, that's all the videos that I want to share for now. So I hope that all of you will have general perspective on how to deal with the foundation studies. So who knows that um, you're planning to study abroad, especially to Australia, and you barely know how to deal with these foundation studies from the alumni. Thank you, guys. And see you again next time. Bye-bye.